what is up YouTube welcome back to my channel it is eight o'clock I'm fixing to head into the gym and get in upper body lift but I just wanted to kind of update y'all on my check-in from yesterday for my coach so we just hit seven weeks out so less than seven weeks out now um, but we checked in yesterday I had my same lowest weigh-in I weighed the same as I did on Saturday so um, I weighed 153, that's the lowest we've hit so far um, in this prep, and that was after those refeeds and everything last week, um, but I told him, he always has like, on his, my check-in form, he asked me, is there any concerns, and I just put that, you know, I'm ready for my legs to catch up, because my tie-ins are just not showing through yet, and obviously I hold more of my fat in my lower half, so I know it was, I knew it was going to be the last part to come in, but it's just like, I'm just kind of ready for them to start peeping through a little bit um at least show some semblance of a tie-in <laughs> but he said that it was fine um with me being a natural athlete i mean it's gonna it's just gonna take a little bit longer um and we're trying to keep my protein high and he's going to keep giving me refeed so i don't lose any muscle just to try to maintain as much muscle as i have but he said we're in a very good place so to be you know quote seven weeks out we're in a very good place so that made me feel good um so that was kind of reassuring. Um, I asked him, he said the plan was, you know, to come in 100% of this first show and then properly reverse after the show. So I'm gonna do a whole video on reverse dieting later on, um, which is pretty much the opposite of dieting. You're slowly increasing your calories up while decreasing your cardio, um, your activity, and just kind of get back to a normal way of living because this is not a sustainable, you know, way of, leaving um you know once you get low enough in body fat it's not sustainable so you need to you need to gain some weight back after doing the show so i'll do i'll do go more in depth on that later on but he said that was kind of the plan so i asked him if there was a possibility of doing a second show because in my mind i'm like i'm already lean i've already done you know prepped this whole time i might as well do more than one as long as i'm still mentally okay and i'm still motivated to push I might as well and he said that was fine he said if i wanted to based on how i feel we might do a second one so that's the possibility so that made me feel good we kind of have a better idea a better plan um for after the show but he i need to check in i check in on mondays and he wants me to check in on thursday again like i did a couple weeks ago just to see um how my body's responding he may give me another refeed he said just depending on how i'm looking um, and what my weight does so i'll check in again on thursday and i'll update you guys once we do that um but one of the biggest thing with this check-in is he gave me a new workout split a new training split so i was excited like <laughs> i don't know because i've been doing the same split for a long time and it's you have to do the same movements for over time to see if you're getting stronger that's the only way you'll know if you're improving is if you do the same exercises and you can't just do an exercise you know once a week and then switch it up the next week and expect to get better at it like you have to repeat it over and over because your form will improve as you get you know you get stronger too you'll put you'll gain put more weight on the bar or whatever you're doing so your technique will improve your connection with the muscle um will get stronger and everything like that so that's why you need to do the same split for you know at least at least i say about six weeks and just see that's the only way you'll know if you're making progress so um but i was glad to get a new split it is a push pull leg and then i have two leg days and then i do like yoga pilates on a couple of days as well um so that was i've been trying to do some stretching anyways but um that'll be good to incorporate to help with recovery a little bit um and now i have abs so i haven't really been doing abs i've started doing some vacuums and I'll talk more about that at some point, you know, for those of y'all that don't know what a vacuum is, but it just helps with core control. So when you're on stage um, and you're posing and your breathing starts getting heavy and stuff like that, you try to, you have to control your core, you know, so you don't lose those lines and that definition. So vacuums help with that, but he wants me to do actual abs <laughs> um, three days a week. So I'm going to start incorporating that, but today we've got push, so I have a first official push day in a long time, because I've been just doing an upper lower split, so I've been kind of doing a little bit of everything on my upper body days, so it's going to be exciting to kind of split it up like this, um, but I've got push today, and then my first leg day tomorrow on this new split, so I'm really excited, like, it kind of helps me stay interested in training, I'm still, like, motivated to go work out, like, I haven't really lost that yet, 
I'm not that low energy where I'm just like dreading my workouts. So I still am enjoying them. Um, but it just helps, you know, give you something new and exciting to do. Um, new exercises, new movements, focusing on being as strong as possible at these movements. I know I'm not going to be very strong because I'm not eating enough um, to do that, but I'm still trying to prioritize my carbs and stuff around my workouts um, to just make, you know, help my strength as much as possible um, to maintain as much muscle as I can because when you start dieting for this long and your calories get low enough you're doing this much cardio you start to lose some muscle so obviously the goal is to keep as much as we have so um, but I'm fixing to go ahead in there and train I'll get a few clips of that so I'll have some new exercises to actually show y'all so it's not the same thing over and over um, but I'm excited about that that check-in yesterday really just helped me I was excited um but we're still he didn't change my macros or my cardio or anything everything stayed the same so we'll just check in again on Thursday and see if he needs to refeed me over the weekend so that was exciting I'm trying to think if there was anything else that I wanted to tell y'all um I'm excited to do like yoga and Pilates I need to stretch more um still posing i have a posing session with laura dana miller on thursday morning um just a virtual like facetime posing session the same um coach that i used before so i'm excited to do that again just to help you know get her help on some some more of my posing that i've been practicing but we're gonna head in the gym and work out i ate my pre-workout meal on the way here just cream of wheat protein powder and some almond butter and so we're gonna walk a little bit to give that a little bit longer to digest um, and just to kind of warm up because it's cold outside. It's 44, so kind of get warmed up before I lift. Um, try to do some posing as well, but then we just got work today, just the norm. But so instead of pre-workouts, as I told y'all, I'm trying to not, I'm watching my stimulant um, intake because I'm taking these fat burners and everything. So I'm trying to not do pre-workout if I don't need it. And I really don't need it yet. I just like the taste of it. You know, like I've said before about the energy drinks, it's just a taste thing. I just like the way they taste. I don't really feel the caffeine that much. I don't know if that's just, I'm weird or what it is, but. So I've been hitting up these. Y'all saw these in one of my videos. So these are zero sugar Powerades or I have Gatorades. Um, so this is just something with some flavor, you know, but it's, it's not any caffeine or anything. But it's some electrolytes but um it just kind of you know gives me that placebo effect of that i'm actually drinking something you know to give me life but it's not really any caffeine <laughs> but they taste good so i'll just take what i can get at this point because i'm trying to save as much of my stimulant intake for later on um because we still have over six weeks and calories are going to drop again cardio is going to go up so i know i'm going to be even you know more tired and fatigued so I'm trying to save, you know, stimulant and caffeine, they're a tool in the toolbox. Just like cardio, you know, it's just a tool. If you don't have to use it, don't use it. You know, save it for the very end when you actually really need it. So I'm trying to be very careful with that because with the, the fat burner and the, the green tea and caffeine that I'm supposed to take before cardio, um, I'm already getting in a decent amount of caffeine, so I don't really need any extra. And then plus what little bit I get from like my Diet Pepsi or something for that day. <laughs> um so just trying to be aware of that but feeling pretty good um i think that's about it as far as what i was going to update you guys on right now but i'm going to get some clips of this workout and get it done so i'll see you guys in the next clip
It is too early for this, but I haven't talked to you guys in a couple days, so I need to talk a little bit. But it is 5.12 in the morning. So we're just getting ready to leave the house, going to go do some steps, some cardio, a little bit of core this morning before work. I had a work event last night that lasted to almost 9 o'clock, so I did not get home till. 9.30 ish and then you go to bed till after 11. So I'm a little tired but it's okay because this is Friday so it's the last day of the week and this is my short work day so we're gonna make it but I just want to get on here and talk with you guys. I had my check-in with coach yesterday my second check-in of the week that he wanted me to do um see where we were so I checked in with him yesterday we were down another 1.4 pounds so that was exciting so as soon as I got my weight yesterday morning I'm like I'm probably getting a refeed if we're being honest so that was a nice little little surprise little treat yesterday morning so he emailed me back yesterday before lunch and he was like okay so you get one free sushi roll this weekend he was like nothing fried he said but just have it over sometime over the weekend and a lot of people would have been like ecstatic about that well bethany doesn't really like sushi at all i've tried it it's been a couple years it has been a couple years but i tried it and last time the first time i had it i just had a simple philadelphia roll so, you know, pretty much as basic as you can get. And I threw up. But I just couldn't do it. I don't know if it's the seaweed, if it's the fish, what it is. But I just, just don't like it. So, I emailed him back and I was like, is there anything else I could have? I was like, um, oh my gosh, I just, I just don't like sushi. And he's like, oh shoot. He was like, what what kind of foods do you like? So I told him I was like I like um, 
Chick-fil-A, I like Mexican, I like, oh, that's dark. Anyways, I'm walking to the bathroom, so I'm just gonna have to do with it. Um, Chick-fil-A, I like Mexican, I like hibachi. Um, obviously, refeeds more so for the carbs, so I was like, or like a muffin, like from Starbucks or something. <laughs> I was like, giving him options. Um, and so, and I said Chipotle, because I, I was going out of town this weekend, so I was like, oh, I could get Chipotle. And even if I couldn't, then I could get, like, Sorcheros, you know, if I had to stay in town. Um, so, because we don't have a Chipotle in my town. So, anyways, we have Sorcheros, which is a lot, pretty much like the same thing. So, he was like, get a steak bowl from Chipotle. So, I said, deal, we'll do that. So, on Saturday, I get a steak bowl from Chipotle. And it's pretty much just going to replace one of my meals. So, um... And I'm training legs on Saturday, so that'll be good. I'll probably I'll have it for lunch, and then I'll train legs that afternoon. Um, I'm just getting my supplements situated right now while I'm talking. Um, so, it'll be a great little pre-workout or post-workout, depending on what time I need to train. Because so, um, tomorrow I'm going to, which is Saturday, so that like it was days ahead. Um, tomorrow I'm going to Augusta for the day. Because we're going, me and one of my friends, um, we're going to a powerlifting meet. So, she's kind of interested in getting started doing some powerlifting. So, I'm going with her. We're going just to watch a competition. Just so she can kind of get an idea of what it's like, what it's about. Just spilled that everywhere. I spilled that water everywhere. Um... So we're going to that Saturday and it's going to be like starts at nine and gets, it gets over around like two. So, um, but we're going to Augusta and so we're probably going to try to hit up a gym somewhere around there and get a workout or I'll just get a workout in when I get back. So one of the two, but so we get to get some Chipotle. Um, so that's exciting. So it's really cool. Like when, um, I forgot what I was doing. Um, You know, you work really hard, and obviously you reap the rewards. Like you get, you get rewarded for it. So, because Saturday will be six weeks out. Um, tomorrow, we'll weigh one fifty one point six. I don't even know the last time I weighed that. Like I don't even remember in high school like when I weighed that last or anything like that. I have no idea. Um, because I kind of the thing the way I remember like what my weight was when I was younger. Is when I left for college, I weighed like the week before I left because I was like, I refuse to gain this freshman 15. I refuse. So I weighed and I did all my measurements because I was like, I'm going to have me a good starting point. And we're going to, you know, use this as like our baseline and try to stay as close to it as possible. Um, and I weighed 157 when I left for college. And I did not gain my freshman 15. I weighed 159, but after my first year, <laughs> I kept up with it because I was like, I refuse. I'm not doing it. So I'm like, gaining two pounds. Anyways, but I weighed 157, and I weighed 151.6 to yesterday. I didn't weigh this morning, but yesterday. And I have no idea when I weighed that last. I mean, it was during high school at some point. And I'm 26, so it's, it's been a while. Um, and I've never obviously weighed this at this body composition either. So... Like, my muscle and fat, you know, composition, ratio, whatever you want to call it, however y'all understand, um, has never been this, this way. So, that's exciting. Okay. Um, so what else? What else? So, we need to update y'all on. Had my session with Lauren yesterday. To my posing coach it went very well um keep grabbing the wrong thing we're doing our eaas so um raw nutrition pineapple i want to mix it with my glutamine to have for later so i'm just putting this in this little travel travel thing i already got my glutamine in there but i forgot to put my eaas in there so we're gonna do that for later um and I just put glutamine in here as well. So, 
Then we'll have our creatine later this afternoon before before or during my lift. So we've got pull today. This is my first like pull session, like strictly just pull in a long time. So I'm excited. Um, but I had my posing session with Lauren yesterday. So that went really well. We just posed for about 20 minutes or so. Um, but we went over, you know, some of the same things that we discussed last time. Um, and then she we obviously changed a few things. Um, she added me some other things to work on. And I'll probably schedule another session with her. Probably won't do one next week, but I'm going to go ahead and schedule one for the following week. Because like this past time when I rescheduled with her, I waited too long. so I, And she was already booked, so I had to wait a little while. So we're gonna go ahead and reschedule that. I'll probably look at it today just to go ahead and get it on the books. Um, and I already paid for the next session too. So I'll go ahead and just get that finalized and scheduled. Um, but she said, I, like she even noticed that I was, you know, much leaner. She's like, wow, you look so much leaner than last time. And I'm like, yeah, we've had some changes. Um, but I'm just packing up my lunch. I've been doing a Powerade Fruit Punch Zero or a Gatorade Zero in the morning like with cardio. I just drink this along with my glutamine um, just to have, because I've been doing fasted, not that I don't have to, but because I mean, I just have steps like I've discussed with you guys. So, um, but we're just packing up our meals. We've got breakfast, lunch, afternoon snacks, um, before my workout this afternoon. So we're just packing this stuff up. Um, but I don't have to do it fasted because I don't have like legit cardio to do, but it just helps me push my food to later in the day. You know, push my first meal back a little bit just so I don't, I'm not as hungry as much in between. Um, so I've just been eating, doing my cardio fasted before I do anything else. Um, but the session went good though. I was excited and um, we worked on, couple other things um just other little things that we didn't really touch on the last time so i've got let's say maybe about five, four or five little tweaks to work on like to incorporate in and focus on you know improving those so i'm gonna practice this afternoon i'll try to get some videos for y'all um but i like her a lot we had a good session but i've got pool today this afternoon um i've been really sore since starting this new split so we did, um, I did push on Tuesday, my shoulder, my sh I wasn't like, I wasn't like terribly sore. My shoulders were sore a little bit the next day, but after that it was fine. Um, but my legs, so I did legs on Wednesday and we've got back squats, lunges, hip thrusts. We got a lot of stuff in that workout. I really liked it. Like I enjoyed it. Um, but my quads, Oh my gosh, my quads. And I figured they would be sore from squatting just because I hadn't really done back squats. It's been a few months since I've done them and I haven't done them consistently. Like they haven't been in my program for a long time. I would just do them occasionally just to do something a little different. But um, but I knew my quads would be sore and they are. So it's good. I like it though. But, um, but it's been good though. I've enjoyed this new split. But I just want to know that you guys on that with my check-in and stuff yesterday. Um, we're doing good, apparently. So, I like the refeeds. That's exciting. Um, it was unexpected. I did not expect us to be in this position. Um, it's like, I don't want to get... It's like I'm excited, but I don't want to... Like, I'm trying to think how to explain it. It's like I'm nervous that things can change. And we hit a wall or something and we, and we plateau. Like, I'm just kind of nervous that's going to happen. And I'm not saying, I'm not, not going to speak that into existence. I know I just said it, but I don't want to, I don't want to like make that a reality. Obviously, we're going to keep pushing as hard as we can. And the harder I push, the more I, you know, more consistent I am with the foods I eat, getting my steps in, getting my rest and recovery, the better off we'll be. So I'm just going to keep doing what I need to do. Um... To keep me feeling good because I'm really not like really run down like I might have a day every now and then that I feel just like exhausted today's probably gonna be one of those days just because I didn't sleep as much but I got like eight eight hours of sleep the night before um I was able to sleep in a little bit yesterday but so I'm gonna keep doing just daily daily duties get them done um 
and I'm curious to see what happens after this refeed on Saturday. So I'm excited though. It's, it's exciting. Um, because we could be in a much harder position, you know, having to grind way harder, be on lower food, no refeeds, but we're not. So I'm thankful for that. I'm just gonna keep listening to my coach and do what I need to do. But we're fix I'm fixing to load up the car and we're gonna go to the gym, walk, do some core this morning, and then I'll do, I'll lift pull and pose this afternoon after work. Um, so I'll probably see you guys at the gym at some point, but it's Friday. Gonna make it through today. I don't have a busy day as far as work. We have rehab, um, but I only have two like training clients today, so it's a very slow day as far as that goes. But I'm I want my Fridays to be like that. I don't really like having book book Fridays just because at this point I know my energy is gonna be a little bit on the lower side, um, and I would just rather have more time to work on paperwork and desk stuff. Anyways, so I've talked long enough. So I'll see you guys at the gym. Um, or in the next clip, so bye. What's up, you guys? Fixing hit a workout. I'm at the gym. I'm um, fixing my beverage of choice for today. So, we just got raw nutrition creatine, you know, just the staple everyday supplement. It's unflavored. Um, so, I'm gonna add like a Gatorade Zero um, flavor packet to it just to have me some flavor in my life. Um, I'm tired. It's been a day. Came this morning. Did my 40 minutes of walking. I did my abs. Um, a little stretching. My legs are still sore. Um, but made it through work. And I was feeling alright like after lunch. And then I don't know. It's like rainy today. Like very gloomy. Um, I'm just gonna do one of these Gatorade Zero packets um, for flavor. But it's very rainy and gloomy outside, so I don't know if that's what happened, but it's like I felt good after lunch and everything. I ate like a snack. I had a PB&J. I just had two pieces of like low-cal um, Sara Lee bread with a tablespoon of jam, sugar-free strawberry jam, and then a serving of the powdered peanut butter and I you know mixed water in it so it was like peanut butter had me a peanut butter and jelly and I don't know if like the carbs hit my system or what it was but once I ate that I was like I'm so tired <laughs> I don't know so and I already drank a C4 earlier so I already had like an energy drink but anyways we're gonna get this pool day done I'm excited to do pool though so I mean I'm feeling all right once I put my music in my headphones and you know, getting warming up and stuff, I'll feel better. I know I will. Um, and our steps for the day, we're already at almost 12,000. So I gotta get 14,000. It's 4.30 in the afternoon. So we'll get that easily, no problem. So no more walking on the treadmill this afternoon. So that's good. Um, I'm gonna do some posing when I get done with this. Yeah. So we're just fixing to get this done. Then we gotta go home and meal prep get things ready for tomorrow because I'll be going out of town all day long so I'll kind of show you guys how I prepare for that um we I will get a one meal out since I get my chipotle tomorrow so that's one meal I don't have to pack so that's exciting I'm so excited <laughs> um but I have to pack the rest of my stuff for that day and then we're also going to be training after the powerlifting meet just have to pack obviously my training clothes and all that mess for tomorrow so I'll see you guys after my workout most likely. I may or may not film. I'm kind of wanting to just get in here and get it done so we can move on with life. So anyways, I'll talk to you guys in the next clip. Alright guys, got some meal prep going down to prepare for tomorrow. So I've just got some chicken cooking right here. Got some more cut up that I'm going to put in there. Um, just have one of these steamer bags of green beans to use for some of my meals. That's chicken. 
So these are veggie straws. So if y'all never had veggie straws, they're, <laughs> these ones right here. The only reason I got them was because they were on clearance. So, you know, that's, you know, how I make my decisions if something's on sale. But they are zero trans fat. They're vegan, so therefore there's no dairy in it. Um, they're not gluten free though. But this is the nutrition. So I've been having one serving. I've been fitting that in. So it's kind of like just a little bit of a, a chip substitute. Um, the only reason I got this too was just because it was still, I don't normally get that. But um, I just can't bring myself to make rice. I just have a, a little sad portion of rice. So we're gonna having those lately. So that's been the move. But just making my meals up right here. That chicken's almost done. Fix it, change it over. Um, I've got some of my supplements already packed up. So in here I have my, this is creatine and aminos. So we got pineapple flavor, EAAs, unflavored creatine, and then we have glutamine in here. Yeah, I can't even remember what's in here. Glutamine. Um, so that's gonna go in the lunch box for tomorrow. Got some ice packs I'm gonna put in there. So just traveling on the go, um, getting everything packed up. So that's what they're doing right now. I just, Rex just tightened down my belt for me. So this is my weightlifting belt, Pinocchio Power. It's gonna show you how freaking tiny this thing is because it is insane. I've been wearing it the last few, you know, last few weeks to do RDLs or whatnot, but I just, I just can tell it's not giving me much support at all. Like it's just not doing anything for me. So I had to tighten it down. I wasn't sure though, just because my, the way my, hip bones and my rib ribs are it's going to be cutting into it i think but my waist is small enough now that i need a little more support so i'm going to show you what that looks like all right guys so this is what we're looking at so this is what it's like when it's tightened down well, that's how small it is and the fact that this actually fits me is insane. That is wild. But that is legit what it's supposed to be like. And yes, it is cutting into my hip bones. So that's going to be a, a fun time. And my ribs. But you know, it's okay. Because we can actually get some support from it. Versus when it's loose and I can stick my hand in there. That's not really the whole purpose. That is wild. You know, it's rude when you have to take it on the belt. You can see the indention from where I've been wearing it. Right there. And I already I've already tightened it one time since starting prep. So this is the second time. So, getting kind of smallish. Yay. Come on. 